Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious fish tacos. In case you guys want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 2 pounds of your choice of white fish, 12 ounces of beer or mineral water, 1 and 2 thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour, 20 pulverized gelatin crackers, 1 egg, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, 1 fourth of a purple cabbage finely chopped, 1 fourth of a green cabbage finely chopped, 1 cucumber chopped into small pieces, 2 Roma tomatoes, 1 fourth of a small purple onion, 1 handful of cilantro, 1 jalapeno chopped, 5 to 6 pickled jalapenos chopped into small pieces, 3 lemons, corn tortillas, 1 cup of crema mexicana, 2 tablespoons of mayo, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of oregano, garlic, salt, black pepper, and regular salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alright guys, so first we're going to start by making our pico de gallo. So in a large bowl, we're going to combine our finely shredded purple cabbage, our finely shredded green cabbage, our purple onion, cucumber, and for the cucumber I remove the seeds and I just cut them into small pieces. Aroma tomatoes as well, I remove the seeds. Our finely chopped cilantro, and I'm using one jalapeno. And to that we're going to add, well we're going to squeeze two limes or lemons. We're going to season it with garlic salt. a little bit of the regular salt and black pepper. Okay, so just mix it all together. And just try a piece to see if he needs any salt or black pepper. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to place it in our refrigerator and let it sit until we're ready to make our tacos. Alright guys, so now we're going to make our jalapeno sauce. Now for this sauce, you can replace the jalapeno for your choice of pepper. And depending on how spicy you want your sauce, then it depends on how many jalapenos you're going to use. So I'm using about six jalapenos. So in a, in a small bowl, we're going to combine our crema mexicana, our mayonnaise. Mix it together. So just mix it until you no longer see the lumps of uh, mayo. Alright, so next we're going to add our jalapenos. We're going to season it with black pepper. Garlic, salt. And a little bit of regular salt. So mix it all together. Okay, to that we're going to add half of our lemon. So squeeze it out. Mix it. Taste it for salt. For me, this is perfect. So now we're going to place it in our refrigerator until we're done making our tacos. All right guys, so now we are ready to make our fish. So we're going to start by making our dry mixture. So in a small bowl, we're going to mix one cup of flour, our two tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. So just mix it all together. And of course, just make sure that your bowl is big enough where you're going to be able to mix and dip your fish. Okay, so once we have that, we can work on our wet batter. I guess in a large bowl, we're going to add our two thirds of a cup of flour, our pulverized gelatin crackers, 
our oregano chili powder, our baking powder, uh, one teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and our onion powder. So just mix it all. Mix it all together. Okay, and to that we're going to add our one egg. Just mix it. And we're going to mix it with our beer or mineral water. So just slowly pour it and mix. And before you add the egg and the beer, you can try um, your flour to see if you want to add any salt or, you know, just adjust it to your liking. Okay, so just keep adding your beer until you get this consistency. Okay, so that's about one cup of your beer or mineral water. Okay, so once we have that, now we can get our fish ready so we can begin dipping. Okay, right, so at this point, we're going to get our oil ready. So in a small frying pan, we're going to set it on medium heat. We're going to add about one bottle of oil. And we're just going to wait for that to heat up. All right guys, so for my fish, I'm using Alaskan cod. Um, like I mentioned, you can use your favorite uh, white fish. So we're just going to cut it in half, just like that. And we're going to transfer them in a plate with paper towels. Okay, we're just going to do the same to all of our fish. All right, so once we have them all nice and cut, we're going to pat them dry with paper towels. So we want them to be completely dry before we start dipping them. All right, guys, so just check your oil, make sure that it is ready before we um, dip our fish. So now we can begin to dip. All right, so grab your fish, dip it in the dry flour mixture. Okay, remove the excess, and then dip it into the wet batter. Okay, flip it over. All right, so just make sure that your fish is completely covered with the batter. And now we're going to fry it. Okay, so throw it in the oil. And we're going to cook our fish for about five minutes. So after a few minutes, we're going to flip it over and just continue frying. And right, so now we're just going to repeat the process to all of our fish. All right, so once our fish is nice and golden from both sides, we're going to remove it from the oil and just drain the excess oil and just continue frying. All right guys, so once our fish is ready, we can get our tortillas ready as well. And of course, you can use corn or flour, whatever your choice is. Okay, so once we have our tortillas ready, now we are ready for the fun part. All right, so get your tortillas, and get your fish. I'm going to grab our pico de gallo with cabbage. Going to add a slice of avocado and of course our jalapeno sauce. Okay. And now we are ready to enjoy our delicious fish tacos. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I'm ready. Mm. Mm -hmm. Seriously, super delicious. The fish is so flavorful. Everything put together the best fish taco. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make some delicious fish tacos. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.